Hi guys, in this video I'm going to tell you how to put your links in, how to put your payment links in so you actually get sales and you actually get people clicking on them. This is very, very important for your click-through rate. You will also find this video on YouTube and Facebook, so if you're watching on there, I've put it up there as a sneak peek into the Azon Masters course. If you're interested in this stuff and if you're wondering, well, I need to know how to build the sites, I need to know how to select the niches, basically everything and you're looking for a course that shows you how to apply it and build you Amazon affiliate sites from scratch actually show you how to do it the right way with a Christmas bonus as well showing you how to make money at Christmas with Amazon check out the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube it will take you through to this page there is a timer on the offer and there are limited spots um, so if you'll get here and the timers run out then you'll find it's not for sale anymore if the time is still going, you have time to get in on the Azon Masters course, which is a complete course. To find out all about it, watch this video on the page. You'll find it in the description below. If you're watching this video on Facebook, you will find it in the box somewhere or in the comments. And if you're watching inside the membership and are confused, I just decided to put this video out there as a sneak peek as to what you guys are getting. I hope you're enjoying it. In this video, we're going to look at how to how to get a good click-through rate so once you've got your content on the site before you even worry about any SEO or anything like that I suggest you do it this way round um, again you don't have to but it just works easier if you do it this way round get your affiliate links in and I'm going to show you how to do it so bear in mind that the article I'm showing you here or the product review has actually got SEO in it and a lot of links and a lot of stuff that we're going to cover in another video in the course but for the purposes of this video I'm going to talk just about your affiliate links the ones that you need and the ones that you absolutely how to put them in so you get a good click-through rate the worst thing you can do is have a good site a ranking site and you're not getting any clicks through because you've got a bad click-through rate first point so grab a pen and paper the first point is text links are not enough okay you can easily put in a text link I'm going to do it now and actually show you how it's done um, the tools I use to put the Amazon affiliate links in are this one uh, you, it's just outside your screen uh, because of the way this is being recorded but it's called Amazon Publisher Studio it's the official Amazon link builder for affiliate sites so I recommend you use that now more than ever if you use anything else I've I can't really vouch for them. I used to use Easy Azon and they were brilliant. But because Amazon is Amazon, I prefer using their official one. And it works really, really well. If you're using Chrome or Firefox, just look it up. Amazon Publisher Studio. It installs straight into the browser. You follow the install instructions. Once you've got it set up on WordPress, super easy to add links. When you're adding links, so the first thing you want to do is this is a product review and I'll show you how to add links for keyword content in another video but for this one you can see here on this page we're going to look at a very popular PC gaming chair which is the Giantex racing chair I, I put a link straight away okay you can follow the same format the name of the product is a link here this goes straight through to Amazon the reason being if people click on that and they leave who cares in terms of you know we're not we're not wanting them to read every single word of content we've got on the site I know we've worked hard on it but we've worked on it hard on it to get it to rank in Google and get people going through to Amazon so if someone's interested in this giant text gaming chair and they um, they click on that link and they go through to Amazon good you know if they buy it you get commission so I put a link right up near the top and also this is why when we looked at in another video how to write the content this is why the content needs to be good because your contextual links work ever so well so you can see here I put we'll run through exactly what you get for your money and also whether we recommend buying this gaming chair um, and I've got another link here with the picture and uh, a few these are SEO links so they're not really um, they're not really we, we won't speak about them in this video I'll do it in another video with SEO um, but you can see here a big title and the other thing that I can do that I actually haven't done on this article I'll show you now 
If you're looking for a fantastic PC gaming chair and you also want to save money, then the quick answer is that you cannot really go wrong with the Giantex gaming chair. What I like to do is before you start the review is a call to action. You know, again, similar to this link here, if people just want to go straight through and buy the product, tell them at the top that it's a good product, okay, before you start your review. And what you can also do is put another link, so I could say click here to check out the Giantex Executive Swivel. I have to write the full name just to keep it all in. You don't have to do the full name, I suppose, but I just like to keep it all in um, in sync with everything else. And what I can do, if I copy that, because it's the name, and we can make this... Hang on. We can make this bold. And we can increase the size of it a bit. Maybe a bit bigger, even. Let's see. There we go. Good, good solid link there. And then to put the link in, I highlight it. And you can see this thing, create link, that's off the Amazon Publisher Studio. I click on that and it automatically searches for the highlighted text. So it's searching for click here. So what I want to do is just delete that highlighted text because it doesn't make sense. And just put in the name of the product. Click on go. And here we go. It's got, it's got it here. Now this is the one that I've actually reviewed and I've got an option add a link or tag an image where it's not an image I'm going to add a link and there we go. So link you select what tag you're using and everything um, when you set that up if you're wondering how I did that. So I've added another link there and what I try and do so without getting into the SEO because some of these links are interlinking articles and content which don't worry um, I'm going to talk about that the other main thing I've got here, this picture is actually, if you go to, I'll just show you. Okay, when you go, make sure you're signed into your Amazon affiliate account. If you are signed in, go to the product that you want to create the banner for, um, and then you just go here. Uh, you can even do text links like this if you prefer, although it's a bit, um, takes longer. But you can just put images in if you want just an image i can choose a large image a medium one a small one and i can also um, text an image so this is what you want okay and you can change it if you want you could get the border off and you could not open the link in a new tab i like it with the border so i go for show border and open link in a new tab and you've got that shop now and that's this this one okay and the way you put that in is you copy that code make sure that you put something where you want it like my banner here in the text and then go to text tab up here and all this will appear and it's like oh my god it's all coding and hard work that's why you want to write my banner here you see where I've written it okay and then I just delete that and I would paste the code there I'm not going to do it because I don't need it on there but that's how you do it and then that would appear and then that's it and then I've got the link underneath it and then because my contents as we explored in how to write the content because it's split up with headings and it's good it's um it's better when you put the links in so I might add in a few more like say a PC gaming chair here well I've got content on the site that's for PC gaming chair so I could have like that you know best gaming chair buyers guide for PCs and that would link through to that but in terms of my buying link I'm actually structuring uh, sorry buying links I'm actually structuring it by having a good two links in in a few paragraphs separated by a banner a strong call to action at the top some banners in the middle and or a strong call to action you could have one if your contents long enough it does go this is a 1257 word article uh, the pictures, all the pictures um, are, if you click them, you'll go through to Amazon. And the other thing that I want you to get is that you're making it a natural transition from your site. Very, very important. This is the same with the content. People don't think about it, okay? What you want to do is you want to make it a natural transition. So when people are actually reading through your content, they click because it makes sense to do so. 
like this okay we recommend buying the giant X executive swivel gaming chair from Amazon and of course that will go through to Amazon and it's a good link to do it and people will click on it you can see here another Amazon link um, another banner here and then other PC gaming chairs to consider and the other thing I so I'll update this and show you um, if I update that and it will do its magic however slow there we go and then if we have a look at the post now I just want to show you one other thing that I've got in there this is all stuff that we're covering the course contents and all the so again if you're interested in this stuff and your head spinning already and you're thinking well I don't even know to write the content build the sites do check out the ASON masters course um, check it out in the description watch the video see if it's for you it's on a limited time offer um, and then the price goes up so if you want to get in um, the spots are limited so do check that out and it will go through everything so if you're wondering what all this content is and how to get this contents and interlinking going and all the stuff we go through step by step very much like this video but back to the you can see my link here as well back to here so you can see the other thing I've got working is banners like this now this is native shopping ads you'll find this in your Amazon affiliate account very easy to set up just go to your Amazon affiliate account it's called something like native shopping ads or native shopping banners and you just go to create a new one and you type in the category that you want to search or the keyword that you want to search I obviously did gaming chairs and uh, then it will give you the code and you just put the code in exactly like this one okay but just on a on a final point with all this stuff you don't want to overflow your site with just loads of banners you can see a good a good amount of links here um, I've got some good links up at the top I could possibly put the banner up at the top here before the contents thing but it's cool it gets sales anyway so I know it's working but if you do it so you've got your banner you've got a good amount of links in you've got another banner here where people can click through good links another banner here I've got about four good banners and lots of links throughout the content and that's what you want to be aiming for my whole point with this video is one to show you how to put links in and two if you've got sites out there and you're just doing it just putting your links in and a few banners it's not going to be enough you need to make sure that you a have content that tells them to click through okay and B make it natural to do so that's I can't stress that enough people don't get clicks off their Amazon site because all they do is have content on there that says this is the best product ever to buy in the world ever since sliced bread click here to buy it that's one people aren't going to click Two, the contents bad and it's not going to rank you the main thing starts with your content as long as you've got a good well written article that helps um, when you put your banners in and when you say you give them a call to action um, it works really really well and a lot of people will just click on the banner and go through and that's cool because you, you get sales so I hope that helps we will be exploring throughout the course more coming back and back to this and when we get into the testing section which is like you know testing for sales and rankings we'll be going in this in depth and a lot of its tweaking but if you do it like that and if you follow this video as a base when you're adding your affiliate links you will not go far wrong okay guys I hope you enjoyed that if you're in the course I'll see you in the next video I've got lots for you um, I hope you're enjoying it if you are watching the preview on YouTube or Facebook which is just this video and you want more do check that offer out I'm not going to go into all salesy or anything like that I'd love to have you with me if you're looking at doing it properly I, I think you'd love it and you build a site like this that um, has been making money for an entire year longer now on, on autopilot you know I haven't even done that much work on the site ranking number one on Google for a lot of terms and first page for most of its terms I'd love to show you how to do it um, and there's lots more anyway check the check the video out if you're interested in that okay guys I'll see you in the next one